Joining me now is NBC News correspondent Aaron Gilchrist. Aaron, so there's been a spike in carjackings and thefts in D.C. Do we know if this was related to just that general, general problem, or do we think it was related to something involving the first family more deliberately? Well, Andrea, there's no indication that this was uh, related to the first family in particular. You're right. There has been a tremendous uptick in the number of carjackings and uh, car thefts here in the district in the last uh, several months. But as we know uh, about, about what happened last night, it was a little before midnight when some Secret Service agents encountered someone breaking a window of a vehicle that was parked, uh, a Secret Service vehicle that was parked and unoccupied. As we understand it, there were potentially two to three people involved in this incident. And during that encounter, one of those Secret Service agents fired their service weapon. Uh, we don't believe that anyone was hit at that time. And then these people took off in a red car, is the alert that the Secret Service gave to the D.C. Police Department. Uh, and, and the Secret Service made it a point to say that there were no protectees who were threatened by what happened. Uh, we know, obviously, that this detail was a group that was assigned to the president's granddaughter, Naomi Biden-Neal. Uh, we don't know whether she was uh, nearby or even aware that this incident had happened. Uh, again, uh, as you say, this is something that we're seeing more and more of uh, across the District of Columbia in the last several months. We know that Texas Congressman Henry Cuellar was carjacked earlier this year uh, in the Navy Yard area, sort of between the Navy Yard and the Capitol. And so this is something that has gotten the attention of a, a lot of people, obviously, and it's something that the D.C. Police Department in particular, Andrea, is having to contend with uh, as it relates to carjacking, carjackings and car thefts. Yeah, and I believe a, a woman member of Congress earlier was also uh, carjacked. Aaron Gilchrist, thank you so much for being on that story.